my queens this is dana persia welcome back to my channel this is where you get the real deal on real beauty don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you can get notifications whenever i post a video which is on friday afternoons i also do a wedding wednesday video twice a month because i am the owner of beautiful brides philly a luxury on location hair and makeup company that specializes in brides let's go i have something really fun for you today did you ever wonder what botox was like and are you thinking about getting botox well if you're in my 40 and older group you may be thinking about it so i am going to show you exactly what the experience is like getting Botox. Now, I am going to say that what's covered here today in this video is only Botox. Now, Botox is used for fine lines and crow's feet around the eyes and the frown lines or what people call the 11s. That's it. From here up is Botox. For different areas, we you use filler. So you can use filler in the cheeks and the jowls and the marionette lines and the lips. I brought my camera and my doctor doing my Botox. So I'm going to describe it along the way. I'm going to tell you what it feels like. And my Botox was done about two weeks ago. What I love about Botox is it's without getting any surgery, it really does lift your eye. I feel like when I don't have Botox, as you can see in this picture, that my eyes kind of droops. Typically, Botox is used in the forehead and in your crow's feet. It can last anywhere from about three to six months, depending on how many units you get and how natural you want your results to be. I notice that everything around the eyes starts to droop. And when you smile, right? When you smile, you can see, I mean, I still have some lines, but when I'm not smiling, my face is smooth. And I feel like I've been getting Botox for, for around six years. I didn't start Botox till I was 48. So you girls out there who are in your 20s, I really think like some of you are getting it too soon and you're looking like you're a plastic Barbie doll because your skin is already flawless and beautiful. You don't have any wrinkles. So I really recommend waiting you know, until you really start to see, you know, frown. Everybody ages differently. So, you know, it might have taken me a lot longer to see wrinkles and to see your frown lines and see your crow's feet. It's just genes. But today we're just going to break down Botox and I'm going to tell you step by step what she does in the doctor's office. And I'm going to tell you how it feels. And about two weeks after Botox, um, it's all settled in. And I really feel it just helps with everything looking fresh. So I go about every four or five months for my Botox, about five months, because it lasts on me. It lasts a really long time. When I first started getting it, it lasted about six months. But again, as we age and things really start to drop and your skin loses elasticity, you may need to go a little bit sooner. And what I love about Dr. Falcone is she is a more natural doctor when it comes to Botox and fillers. She will not overdo it. She will not overfill my lips. She will not. She just said that is just not my aesthetic. And it's just more elegant and you don't look overdone like some people. You know you've seen them. You know you've seen them. They look like they have no eyes and their cheeks are really full and really high and they're Let's talk about the duck lips, right? Okay. So that's not what you're going to get with Dr. Falcone. I want to give you a little background. She's a renowned liposuction specialist in Philadelphia, South Jersey, and has got extensive experience in cosmetic medicine and uses the most advanced treatment options in liposuction surgery. If you're in the Philadelphia area or South Jersey, give her a call. I'm going to put up all her information. Here's her website and her phone number, and you can contact her and tell her I sent you. Okay, so let's see Dana get some Botox. Here we go. First, she cleans off the area with alcohol. I came with a clean face, but I did wear a little eye makeup since I was filming. Now she's going in and doing the crow's feet area just around the eye, little tiny pinches here. It's really just under the skin, you can see. And this part right here really helps the eyelid lift like I was talking about before. It doesn't really hurt. And it just feels like 
tiny little pinches under the skin. And now she's doing the left eye. Again, a couple of pinches there. You can see I'm not bleeding. That will change soon because I took some Aleve the night before. If you take anything that um, is an anti-inflammatory, even the night before, it can make you bleed a little bit more. I usually don't bleed. Drink wine, uh, that will make you bleed as well. And here she's doing the 11s. Again, a couple of pinches right above the eyebrow. And that immediately, you can almost see the lines disappearing. Again, I'm bleeding a little bit more than usual because I took that ibuprofen, which happens to stay in your system for two weeks, apparently. But I had taken it the night before. And she's, you know, talking me through it. She's constantly making me, uh, making sure that the area is clean. And that is pretty much it. You can see you just have little bumps. They go away in about 10 minutes. She's going to go back in now and do a little bit more. So that was it. It was really easy and it really isn't painful. When you get into the filler techniques when you're doing your cheeks and your lips, uh, there's pinching and a little bit of pulling. And like I said, when I do that video, you'll see everything step by step. But around the eyes, it's a tiny little needle. It's so fine, you barely feel it going in. So with Botox, there's no pre um, needle anesthetic. There's no there's no needle before you get it. So it's literally she just starts putting it in. You saw how she put it around the eyes and then she put it around here and then she put it right in the middle. Um, I think the reason why I was bleeding so much is because I had taken some ibuprofen the night before. I didn't realize that it stays in your system for like two weeks. So I think that's why I had a little bit of extra blood, but the bleeding really usually isn't that bad. And it's a couple little pinches and that's it literally takes like no time and you see the results almost almost within a couple of days it makes me feel like when i look in the mirror i look fresh and i look awake and i believe as women and men if you you know it will make you happy go ahead and do it nobody should judge you nobody should say oh you don't need it or why are you getting that i do feel that a lot of these treatments are preventative there's both sides of the fence that say that filler is pre preventative and botox preventative and it won't you won't get more wrinkles i don't know i mean there's research out there that shows that it is i feel like with me i believe i feel like it's been preventative i feel like i you know, just kind of keeping everything fresh. I hope you like that. Please leave me your comments and your questions. Don't forget again to subscribe and ring that bell. And hopefully you liked this video today. Can't wait to see you again. Bye my queens.